Welcome to our 10th session of our virtual workshop. To introduce our speaker for today, we all know Mr. Hossein Buda. He is our um, creative group head and today he will be talking to us about... Most of the people got confused between these terms. It's brand, branding and brand identity and there was like two more. It's visual identity and the logo. But usually the visual identity and the logo goes under the brand identity. So as we just mentioned, there is a lot of misconception, which usually sometimes we put them in the same basket, which, which is not right. You, they are working together. They are complementing each other, but they are not, in the core, they are different. They have like different uses. So brand is not, is not the logo. Logo is the logo. It's not the product. It's not your identity or not even none of any marketing activities. Brand is really different. Anyway, what's the brand? There's a story. Let me give you a story between these couple. If that guy goes for this girl and told her that I'm a great lover. In this case, this is marketing. He's trying to differentiate himself. He's trying to point and saying that he is a great lover. In this case, that's marketing. If he bribe one of her friends to let her tell her to tell her that he is a great lover, that's we call it public relations. If he still keep saying, I'm a great lover, I'm a great lover, I'm a great lover, we call this advertising. If he start to use simples, let's say he give her like a, uh, some roses, use the hearts, we call this the visual communication. Once she starts to feel that and to tell him that, I feel that you are a great lover, that's a brand. In that point, we reach the branding. So brand is emotional. Brand is a set of unique values, consists of the company mission, core values, vision, business voice. But then it's how can you make your audience feel? It's like, a, as, as I said, it's like a, an emotional relationship between the business and the consumer. So that's why brand is an experience. As we said, it's, it's emotional. It's how do you trust your brand? How are you belong to your brand? Like in case of the mic. How are you confident with your brand? One of the most famous quotes about the, the branding is products are made in the factories, but brands created in the minds. Branding is what people say about you when you are not in the room. This will lead us to the definition of the, of the, of the brand, which is the brand is the person's gut feeling about a product, service, or a company. As we said, it's, it's like an emotion thing. So it's, it's, you cannot control it. You cannot do it. It's, it's the consumer who define your brand, who judge your brand. You can just influence it. How can we influence it? The way, as we said, it's, it's the client, it's the consumer who decide the brand. So in order to get yourself in the driver's seat, you have to do the branding thing. Branding, branding is not a... The, the brand is something that, you, you, like he said, like you cannot control. It's actually what the customers mm -hmm. think about the brand. You can only influence it, but it's the word of mouth. It's, uh, yeah. The brand is the promise when you look at it. And, and for those who don't know the background uh, of how the branding started, this actually started like centuries ago, centuries, centuries ago. It's um, the yes. people that... In the 17th century, when they start to brand the kettle, to, exactly. Yeah. To so prove, the cow, to prove the ownership. Uh, yeah. There's a stamp of of a famous ranch or a famous guy and everything. You trust that this cattle is breeded well and everything. So that's the word of the mouth of the, of the customer. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, the brand, branding is the process of shape the 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 perception of the client. How do they how do they perceive your brand? How do they understand your brand? How do they feel your brand? Whatever we are seeing here is the that's the full branding process. Mm -hmm. It's the brand identity, the visual identity and the logo. Usually people got confused between the brand identity and the visual identity. The truth is the visual identity is, part, is a part of the brand identity. The brand identity is not only the visual. Mode. The visual identity usually goes for the communication thing, mm -hmm. for the communication part, the advertising, the, the posters, the out. As you see, the layout, this, but the brand identity is 
let's say it's more generic, it's more strategic. If you are talking about the brand identity, you're talking about the brand persona, yeah? you're talking about the values, the marketing approach, uh, even the customer service thing. How do you deal with the, with the after sales with your client? This is part of your personality. It's a part of your brand identity. And to mention the logo here, the logo is a, is a small part of the, let's say it's not a small part of the brand. By the end, it's your ambassador. It's your representative. It's the brand. The logo is a very big part of the brand, but it's not everything. By the end, it's, it's the core of the visual identity, which is the core of the brand identity, but it's not everything. So to do this, you have to be, you can go through all this awareness and to, to try to build the awareness and the reputation around your company and its product and service. Live in the area of the branding. Your branding efforts may not always fully translate into your consumer's mind, but the more deliberate, cohesive, and consistent they are, the higher the chance of success, which means this, this word leads lead us for the brand system. You have to work more in your brand identity, the brand identity system, the brand identity and the visual identity. As, as I was trying to explain brand identity versus the visual identity, let's, let's take BMW for instance. If you see the logo or the brand, I mean the blue, the white, the black, that's the visual identity. But if you see the grill of the BMW, that's one of the brand. It's, you cannot see it in the, in the posters. You cannot see it in the logo. But it's, it's part of the brand. It's part of the personality of the car, the grill of the car. Okay, let me take you for the fun part, <laughs> apart from the theory part. Uh, I'm not sure if, if, if you all know the, the origin of the logo of BMW. This one what was, one, was one of the ads that they were used, the, the logo itself, and showing the plain propeller. Like a year ago, or less than a year, BMW have made like a change for their brand identity and the logo. Let me take you through it. This website is one of my secrets, by the way. It's called Brand New. If you want to see most of the cases, most of the brand cases, this, so this website is the best, yeah. Can everybody, everybody see it now? Yeah, tamam. Okay. So that's the evolution of the logo. If you can see here, they have eliminate the black part of the logo. That's a nice one. Can you see the Warner Bros one? Yes. Warner Bros, in this case, they wanted to change the logo in order to keep it more adaptive and more collaborate with their projects. The 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 old emblem, it doesn't fit more with, with their projects. Let me show you how did they do it. Yeah. They follow the gold ratio part. They change the, the copy, the, the typography thing. I think this slide especially is the, the core of the changing. They want to be adaptive with their projects more, more and more. Here they start to stress on the, on the oval thing. It, I think it started when uh, Juventus start to change their logo. Here the competition starts. When Juventus change their logo, they have to, they, they initiate to start the, to change their logos as well, or their branding as well. There is a video here. Yes, that's right. I think these three, they came like together, Barcelona and uh, others, Juventus, you will see it later. This one, they, they, they didn't do much, but they just adjusted the logo. They just enhanced it. If you can see the, can you see my pointer? Yes. You're seeing the pointer? Okay, good. So. You can see this part here. They just adjusted. Uh, mm -hmm. They fine-tuned the, the illustration here. They removed the black lines from here and here. They make it more simple. They remove the 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 copy from here. Oh, 
Well, here they are explaining a little bit. They kept the, the elements as it is, elimination of the internal black lines from here and there. The upper drawing. Seven to five bars are here from here to here. Yeah, but then they, they usually that's that's whatever happening with the when they are when any brand try to evolve uh, do the evolution for the for the brand mark they try to make it more simple and more simple that's whatever is happening here. Juventus was the trigger which is here. It was completely different. Yeah, Juventus they were they were only uh, enhancing the logo or adjusting the logo but they work more better on the the brand value on the 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 brand identity more than the visual identity. In this case, Juventus do the two things. He changed the logo completely, which is it was really nice, really really simple. Out of the that kind of sporty emblem, that it's really different. He, in my opinion, he just differentiated himself like very well. Uh, Here's the evolution of the logo, starting from here. The rationale behind the logo. Again, they, they have changed it completely from the, the old one to the new one. They kept the red and the black. New typography. Yeah, very dynamic. Very you you, can, you will find it derived from the the logo itself. Yeah, if you can find it here, the edges here. To the part that your logo is not your brand, can anyone tell which which brand is this advertisement? BM. What? BMW. <laughs> exactly. That's it. This you didn't know it because of the of the brand mark or the logo. You just you know yeah you recognize it because of the brand identity. And here. طبعا ابو حسن هتعرف على طول exactly and again it's it's because of the brand identity not because of the logo or the brand mark and thank you so much actually none of you if if you are the owner of the business none of you none in your hands in the brand the brand totally not in your hands the brand totally in your consumer's mind whatever they think about you that's the brand the value is in your consumer mind. That's why the branding process is a very complicated thing. It's, it takes time, it takes investment, a very big investment to, mm. to differentiate the perspective that, you're, that the, the consumer think about you. 